Hey guys, so here's my Samsung Galaxy A30 and so without further ado, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to do a full flash stock firmware on this Samsung Galaxy A30 with using Odin 3 on my laptop. Now I'm going to turn off this phone. Everything has been backed up through my laptop. Nothing much on there. So now it's been on the download mode on my Samsung Galaxy A30. So here's the full files has been downloaded on my laptop. Now let's go to files, download and launch OD3 apps. Mine is latest version. Click on the right mouse and press run as administrator. Press yes. We got this notice. And here we go for the OD3 apps. As you can see. Alright, so as you can see, there's a added message that means the phone already been connected through the laptop. And now, first thing first, I'm going to put the BL files. It means bootloader files. Find the BL and apply on it. And the second one is AP, the biggest firmware files. It takes times, so I skip the video. And the third one is CP. apply the CP and last but not least is CSC and some firmware take note that you've got two CSC file CSE and home CSC and for the CSE it remove everything and for the home CSC it keeps data so I choose CSC to remove everything and make it like new for my A30 apply on it check everything make sure everything is correct and make sure the phone doesn't disconnect and press start it takes time to flash the full firmware it depends on the device now it's system it shows loading screen on the A30 and finally it pass it just take a 3 minutes something doesn't take time and now first time ever booting a fresh new firmware so finally, a new fresh firmware is on my Galaxy A30 right now. So it's like brand new now. We'll set up the phone. Alright, so the new fresh firmware is on my Samsung Galaxy A30. So far, no issue at all. As you can see, it runs beautifully, smooth, better than previous firmware. But of course, it's the same firmware as previous one. Both are XME Malaysian firmware but this one much better and the battery life also much better than previous firmware. I'm so happy. So before I end this video, you can give a feedback for this Samsung Galaxy A30 flash new fresh firmware in the comment below. And so this is all for me. Thank you very much and see you on next video. Goodbye and have a nice day.